Welcome to this video against Yardbird. Grandmaster Lobron. <laughs> Get him really often, yeah. Um yeah, maybe not the Benoni. He's he's really tricky in those positions. Let's see what we get here. And this is a, a funny situation. I was just looking at the score. We are having an, uh, we're having about 50 percent, nine and a half out of 19. Nine wins, nine losses, one draw. And I'm very sure the draw was bear kings. Yeah? Okay, taking queen b3. This is this is I think the the way this opening is played nowadays. But I'm not something that. Not someone uh, to consider an expert. Bishop d2, probably. Probably. Bishop a6. Uh, that's that's very uh, a very simple continuation. He just takes everything off, right? Okay. And the bishop a6. Hmm. Yeah, that's uh, that's really a bit a bit lame. All that is this. Uh, Hmm. Is this how it is played? It looks really inoffensive for both sides, <laughs> actually. <laughs> okay, so he might take only two. Is there some way to? I can play bishop f3, of course. Yeah, maybe this one, just keeping the pawn for the moment and, and go from there. Rook b1, you probably will play rook b6. I go rook b3, rook a3. Yeah, maybe I can do something like that. Rook b3, intending rook a3. Just an idea. You can play rook d2 though. I have rook a1. I don't know. I don't know. Let's let's be quick about that. Or am I just misplacing my pieces here? Let's think about it for a moment. A6, it goes A6. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure about that. Hmm. Yeah, if I can just take for, for, for total equality, but I wonder if, if there's some way forward. Rook a3, a6, maybe. But I don't really I don't really see. It feels a bit misplaced the whole the whole thing. Yeah, I don't know. Let's just keep it very, very simple here. And take take off stuff. I wasn't sure. Rook a3, a6 might be uh, might be not very good at all. Here I just intend to go to d7 or d6 activating the rook. It is very drawish of course. Bishop a2. I can think of just taking on c6. Uh, yeah, rook a1, rook b2, bishop c6 also possible. And I can take e2. Hmm. Yeah, I thought rook d4 here. Yeah, rook d4 a4. That's a bit, a bit different. Uh, it's it's whatever you do. This is <laughs> this is going to be very drawish in any case. Yeah, I can do whatever, <laughs> really. Take on f3 and make some, some luft for the king, g6 or something. But it's it's there are multiple ways to play. It's nothing terribly forcing here. Yeah, maybe he's just looking for ways to get some life into the position. I thought maybe e5 was possible. Okay, I'm going to play rook a4 here. Look at the a pawn. It's 
this is also threatening uh, e4 <laughs> e4 which almost traps the bishop there's some g4 trickery maybe or oh, not really i'm threatening e4 now and threatening the pawn on a7 hmm is this maybe something for me or am i too optimistic here maybe maybe this this is something at least uh, maybe i'm at least winning a pawn hmm. check okay so he's not react i can can play rook a4 okay uh, rook a2 i mean sorry on e4 he can play rook a2 so what am i doing now just take just take a7 i guess or let's see e4 wait e4 rook a2 rook b4 this is still trapped e4 rook a2 uh, e4 bishop a2 however is possible okay so if i take a7 he might take e2 where yeah? this is also also on i can play c4 c4 bishop takes king takes maybe this one <coughs> maybe this one trying to do a little bit I'm, I'm i'm a bit more active still and uh check now i'm <clears throat> really intending to take a7 yeah here i can come over with the king i'm playing with the king here and he is not at least not yet so i can take now he can try for counterplay with <clears throat> with this with against the h pawn so um i can king go king e3 to cover that that probably should time warning so just the a pawn and go with the king his h pawn will be will be counterplay Hmm, there's some good way to uh, to set up the pieces. Yeah, I mean, no, it's not really it's not really the case that I can think about it too much. Uh, I want to stay near near the pawns to keep it safe. Check. Yeah, I have I don't have any winning chance here, I think. It uh, does not look like it. Hmm. King e4, is this getting <coughs> getting tricky even here? Check. That's not good. Uh, I can I cannot believe it that that I'm screwing this up. Unbelievable stuff. Ah, oh, oh, this I played like a total moron. Ah, oh, in this end game, which was just totally good for white. Check. Unbelievable. Checkmate. Yeah, it does not matter. It does not really matter. What an idiot! I am. I mean, from this, I mean, how can you lose this end game? I really should be, should be shot again for that stuff. So I went here, and here I'm just, I'm just better here. What did I do wrong? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Or not. Or not. A five. Maybe I should just get the C pawn. 
Yeah, probably that's also a problem. Yeah, I should just get the C pawn. The A pawn is not doing anything. Yeah, this is really this is a this is the key. This is the problem. Ah, this was wrong. Yeah, I just wanted to get this pawn pushed quickly. This is much stronger. Yeah, that's much stronger. Around here, if we look at this, yeah, I can try to play play this position where at least I have a pawn, but it's it's difficult to do anything. The way Check. I played it, oops, the way I played it, I just pushed the pawn, and this is this is not good. This is simply not good. My rook is um, is tied to this pawn, and Check. I have I have some problems here. He can activate the king and push this f5 g4 stuff. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I, I must play king e4 here, for example. And here I'm it starts to it starts to get really really tricky. If not problematic. Here I'm just winning. Check. F3 and F4. Check. Why am I winning here? Because he cannot go there. He has to go here. And now rook d8 wins. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> uh, ah, that's so sick. That's so sick. So here's here's simply nothing going on, yeah. This this is why I had this. I was really wondering why am I in such big trouble because he's playing something that he cannot play. Here I'm losing. Uh, here Check. I'm winning with f3 and f4, yeah. Not king f2. Check. And uh, still, I probably yeah e4 is still. Uh, okay, I, I cannot really do that with this time e4. 20 seconds I'm I'm not tactically fresh enough to to see those things e4 is still a draw e4 is still a draw because if he takes I'll go here and now he has a problem he's always in this checks here I'm even better and he has check. to he do something like that give check. give the check so I was only losing really in the final stages when I had no time I was really wondering why it was so bad all of a sudden it, it really didn't make much sense to me what I showed earlier was better to to get winning chances but I still shouldn't lose uh, and uh, yeah it was really due to me overlooking several tactical elements here that I lost the end game okay thanks for watching